Hello everybody, I am the Linkzilla, and welcome back to God of War, Chains of Olympus. When we last left off, we fought one hell of a fight, an annoying kind of fight, the kind of fight that really makes you question why it is that certain people are even allowed to exist, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, we are here in the underworld, the ruins of Asphodel, which is weird because we it kind of looks like we're in Tartarus, if anything. Oh, so that's how we go up. All that, just to get a few extra feet. Did anything else change? Did anything else, like, reveal itself when we broke that? You gotta be careful, you always gotta double check these things. Climb up! My ribs are starting to hurt, I don't know why. Of course, basically, this is a work day for me, and I feel like I basically got my ass kicked. Seriously, why is it that my job is literally that painful? I think it's honestly because I clearly have some kind of disease that makes my bones weak and whatnot. And basically, my job is stupid because I'm torn between two different workstations. Everybody else gets to largely stay within their work area, but instead, but me, I basically gotta worry about going back and forth between two different stations, and but literally the only person in the, in the store who does that. I mean, the only other kind of people who do that are managers, but they don't go, whenever they leave their station, that's because they go back into the office and, like, just waste time pretending to be busy. I feel like this door should be open. The worst part about it is, sometimes when I'm dealing with so many customers at once, the other duty that I have to attend to as part of my job doesn't get done. And I don't, I honestly don't care when that happens, we'll just have the next shift come in and take care of it, but personally, I'm just waiting for the day that they start complaining that, hey, he was supposed to do this while he was here and he did it. What gives? Yeah, well, guess what? I can't exactly do it when I can't freaking get back there to do it. Why the heck is it my job anyway? Cutscene. Calm the fuck down, boy. Okay, these guys are green. They go down all the same. Armors. Kratos! Roll! Roll through them! <laughs> Enough with the harpies. Get up, Kratos. Get up! Yeah, you guys aren't the only ones with shields. What the fuck? Oh, now the door opens. I don't know what's happening. I'm angry. I'm so angry. The gates of Hades. The souls of the dead enter into the world of the underworld through the gates of Hades. You know, Hades got royally screwed out of a deal, but honestly, being the king of the underworld might actually have its perks. I mean, literally speaking, the only. I, th I think what's really a major pain and a thorn in Hades' side is the fact that really. 
he basically just has a lot of paperwork to deal with. You were still here? Seriously, it's over. Go. Because imagine it, like, every single dead person that comes in has to basically be overseen by Hades, so... And, like, uh, the underworld has to go on infinitely, and, like, basically speaking, in order to accommodate every single person who's ever died, like, it probably was easy back when the global population was, like, a few hundred thousand, but now it's in the billions. <laughs> what is this? <clears throat> secrets, secrets, secrets. <laughs> Nothing I can break. Rolling head face first up a up a flight of stairs. Oh great, now I'm trapped here. You know, basically, if you wanna, if you wanna cut off the other areas so that the game can load more resources, you basically don't necessarily have to. You can base, you don't have to basically cut off that area. You can basically just like pretend it no longer exists. Dang it! Hoping for a phoenix feather there. Find it ironic. I was back up to the point where I could level this up. Now I can. 2,000 something away from leveling that up. More like 1,600, but quite frankly, I don't give a shit. I don't give an actual shit. I need to use this. Like, it's some... That's always the thing. Like, throughout every single God of War game, the weapon that I usually end up using the least is the projectile weapon. I sometimes forget that Zeus's fury was a thing. I'm sorry, does this place have stage hazards? Oh my god, it does. Blades. Roaming across the floor. In perpendicular directions. Kill the birds. Toppins a bag. Toppins. Toppins. Ghost of Sparta, get up! One thing that I hate about this is that it's clearly rotating in the wrong direction. Well, that's shiny. I can't destroy it, even though it indicates that I should be able to destroy it. I'm guessing that's the river Styx out there. Big river made of blood. The gods have given you an opportunity to save. The docks of Charon. Ah. One character in God of Greek mythology that Kratos has yet to meet. 
in any official capacity. The Ferryman. Wait a second. Kratos, did you bring your two dinars? Nobody, for, nobody rides for free. A better ring, I suppose. Dun -dun. Bring the ferryman. Whoa, the barge is huge. Well, it has to ferry a lot of people in a very short amount of time. People are dying by the minute. This is more like a warship. Charon. Who calls for the ferryman? Uh, that would be me. I like to ask. Ask. To the Olympians. I am a slave to no one, Charon. I like to add the cost of my trip to the underworld to my final electric bill. Will release neither of us from our torture. Be gone. It is not yet your time, mortal. What the? You just told me to leave, and yet you're not giving me a chance to leave? You're kind of being a dick here. I gotta say, they did a pretty creepy, creepy job with him, but, uh, he's kind of just supposed to be a skeleton, you know? Like, Father Time here with the scythe is interesting, but he's not technically supposed to be the Grim Reaper. That's supposed to be an ore that he's wielding. Ah, uh, but who am I kidding? I'm not a Greek mythology purist. I think the people who are are kind of annoying. This is basically what I mentioned, that I hate the whole purism angle thing. I can understand it, but that it basically doesn't mean that you have to ruin everybody else's fun by being pedantic. What are you laughing at? I'm kicking your- what the- That's... unfair. That's completely unfair. What- what's happening? Happened to it not being my time! Kratos has been thrown into the river Styx. And now he's in Tartarus. And I'm chained to a wall. I've dealt with this before! <coughs> okay, so Kratos was bound by the wrist in chains, and uh, the. Uh, and yet, he already has the Blades of Chaos <laughs> chain gang, but seriously, like, it, how do they... Uh, it's like one of the first God of War bosses, boss fights that you're actually supposed to lose. Chains. I should probably help this guy out, but truth be told, he's here to help me. <laughs> Hug the light. <laughs> Imprisonment. That was weird. Like... Cinematically, that was supposed to happen. 
All phoenix feathers. Looks like a pentagram, doesn't it? An up inverted pentagram. You see it? Like, between each of the feathers, it kind of looks like vaguely like a star. The gods demand sacrifice. But I don't get it. Like, am I going to have to fight Chiron again? Or Ky Charon again? For the birds! <laughs> Fully powered up with magic. If I have to fight him again, well, I literally can't get more powerful than I currently am. Than I currently am. I mean, I can power up my weapons and whatnot, but that's going to be gravy. I'm starting to see a theme with this game. I honestly thought that the Chains of Olympus was basically referring to, like, well, basically the chains that Kratos is going to use to imprison Atlas at the end of the game. Spoiler warning, but... Let's be honest, if you're watching this, you're probably... Uh, you, I'm assuming that you've played God of War 2, it came out before this game, so... The thing about it is, I thought that that's what they were referring to, but... I think that the theme that the game is... The tone that the game is trying to set with its theming and whatnot is that... The Chains of Olympus are actually referring to Kratos' servitude to the gods. He's basically considered himself a slave, constantly... With the... With the carrot of being free from his nightmares in front of him and the stick behind him. Basically, like, they're dangling relief from his nightmares in front of him, and yet he basically only considers himself a slave to what's going on. To what they did to the gods, so... Okay, I clearly walked into the wrong party. boys. Water's open. Come and get me. open. Pe 
guys' hands. Oh, and there's a fifth one now, huh? Gotta be careful with that parry. Just at the right moment. How many of these goddamn legionnaires are there? Resilient little bastard, aren't you? Die! You picked the wrong day to come to work, pal. Yeah, it's damn right you give me this fucking magic chest. Here, where the souls of the wicked are tortured in the pits of Tartarus, yep. wailing and the agony of the damned resonated deep throughout the bowels of the underworld. I imagine that it's pretty hard to sleep with all that racket going on. These are different. I can't grab these. Get up, Kratos! feeling that I'm gonna need these. I can get 2,000 more easily. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Why wouldn't there be?
Kratos has absolutely no chill right now. I thought I wasn't gonna have to walk across any more tight ropes. Or beams, or whatever. Come here. Always, if you, if you ever have to choose between magic and health, go for health. Don't you look at me! I said, don't look at me! Now you ain't gonna look at anything ever again. Yep, since I've gotten all the Gorgon's eyes and... <laughs> Phoenix feathers. Poseidon, Zeus, and Hades. Don't you love it? Even in Hades' own home, he has to suck up to his bro his brothers. And seriously, Hades is the eldest. Why is this flame green? Right, I've got enough. So, let's power it up. Let's power up! Finally get that finishing move. Holy crap, I actually had the exact amount to level these things up, didn't I? I'm pretty sure that the Blades of Chaos in every single game only have five levels to level up, so... I can either save it all up until I get to level these things up, or I can basically have to devote time to whatever these are going to end up being. And I'm probably going to get another one soon, so... Poseidon, God of the Sea. Upon defeating the Titans, Poseidon took dominion over the seas and its master to its creatures. Yeah, but he delegates some of his work to his no-good son Triton, am I right? What is this? Hades, god of the underworld, 
With the Titans enchained, Hades was given guardianship over the underworld. Let's face it, he drew the short straw. Keeping a watchful eye on the immortal enemies of Olympus, he rules over the dead alongside his wife, Persephone. I think that's the first time God of War has actually mentioned her name. You know, it's kind of a... It's basically one of the things that makes Zeus a dick. I mean, I know he basically led the rebellion against the Titanomachy, but he royally screwed over Hades when it came to dividing up the spoils of war, because by rights, Hades should rule. But, yeah, what are you gonna do? Although, quite frankly, I don't get why the Titans are imprisoned and not killed. It is possible to kill them. Zeus, king of the gods. Upon defeating the Titans in the ancient war, Zeus banished them to the underworld. They demand and demanded they be imprisoned forever, chained in their torment in the depths of Tartarus. You see, if you kill your enemies, that prevents them from getting free and rising against you. Much like in the actual game, Zeus does a complete turnaround. That's honestly one of the things that irritates me the most about ever since God of War started getting sequels, because it's clear that the direction that they took the series with God of War 2 was not the intended direction that Dave Jaffe was intending when he, fir when he directed God of War 1. It kind of irritates me, because it's like... Because it seemed like they were really setting Zeus up to be an unsung hero of, gr of the God of War franchise, but then they turn him into the final antagonist. Thanks, you sent me where I needed to go. Now you guys, stop respawning. Seriously, you guys are not good at what you do. Hello! Hi, 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 hi! Where's the beef? Not over? God, you guys need to really learn to really need to know when to quit. Disintegrate. Disperse. Good girl. And you can't fool me. I know that that's Atropos. Right. Where do I go from here? It honestly looks like I can destroy this wall, but that's the place that I came from, so... Uh, Shouldn't there be, like, a save around here somewhere? 
looks like my only way to go is up. Well, I am in Tartarus, so I'm at the lowest of the low here. God, you won't stay down, will you? Great. You totally ruined the surprise. Thanks a lot, ass. Also, why are there tombs in the underworld? I honestly don't think that's how it's supposed to work. <sighs> Maybe I'm just grumpy because work was just a special kind of hell. would have a throne down here aside from Hades. And I know we're not going to see his house. Seriously, that's like a big locale that they're saving for later. Huh, I wonder where I'm supposed to go. Knock, knock. Yes, keep feeding me blood orbs. Okay, I wasn't exactly paying attention, so, uh, what did, uh, flipping that lever actually do? I look away for just two damn seconds, don't I? Did it open up this thing? Yeah, it opened up this thing. I'm probably gonna regret this, but... Fuck it, no chest actually re restores you to factory settings, do they? I mean, I know that I'm set to, like, the current highest difficulty, but... Damn. They're being really stingy with their health and magic. The Jailer of Tartarus. The gods entrusted the Jailer with the key to the Temple of Zeus, where the weapon that enchained the Titans was kept safe. Okay, so, um... There's a Temple of Zeus in Tartarus? That, uh... Look, Zeus, I know that you're the king of the gods and you rule the sky and you have an ego the size of, well, Mount Olympus, but seriously, like, you're just taking it way too far here. I honestly don't think you need everyone everywhere constantly being reminded of you and worshipping you. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like the same thing with having a church every five fucking blocks. And fan freaking tastic the jailer is dead. Seriously, the d hey guys, you got a friggin' dead guy who is playing as a warden to your underworld prison. I swear the gods, they make absolutely no sense. This is what I think of you. I just desecrated somebody's dead body for seemingly no reason. That's Kratos for you. I have acquired the Crypt Keeper's key. <laughs> Congratulations, Kratos! Now you are the master of scaremonies! <laughs> I've been waiting for millennia for someone to get me out of this gig. Now, I'm going to retire. I'm going up to the surface world, and I'm going to make a big break in television. 
telling all those mortals up there of all the horrible tales that I've come to know over the millennia. <laughs> and I think I'll, and I'll get paid millions to make bad puns for all eternity. You truly are an evil fiend, aren't you? Come on. I don't know where I'm supposed to take you. Can I put you in the chest? <laughs> That'd be funny as hell, just put him in the box. You deserve a proper burial. Oh, here it is. That was very obscure. Helios? Oh, the key. You had to use a key that was basically as long as you were tall? Your job sucks, man. Ricola. Wait a second. Look down there. Look at where the texture changes. Oh my god, that's... That's a titan. I didn't see it before. I'm gonna have to go back into the footage and, like, check to see if I can see that. Ooh, look, a shiny statue of Zeus inside. <laughs> the Temple of Zeus in the Pit of Tartarus. Zeus, these people are dead. They are wicked and they are dead if they get sent here. They're kind of not going to be singing your praises. Oh look, it's the Infinity Gauntlet! <laughs> no wonder it was able to imprison the Titans. Oh yeah, Kratos is totally gonna get all five up in that. Guys, get out of my way so I can five-figure discount this bitch. Ow. Seriously, they're having me rotate this thing the wrong way. It pisses me off. Who ever heard of rotating it counterclockwise? Let me destroy the statue. Let me destroy the statue. The Gauntlet of Zeus. Yeah, nice try. It's the Infinity Gauntlet and we all know it. Having vanquished his enemies in the ancient war, Zeus demanded that Hephaestus craft a weapon. You know, this is getting kind of repetitive, isn't it, with the whole MacGuffins? Because Zeus created a weapon to end the Great War, and now he's creating another weapon post the Great War? How many weapons does this guy need? You guys will find out what I'm talking about in a couple of games. The MacGuffin to end all MacGuffins. Oh wait, I still need to go through three more games to get to that point. Huh. Forgot that Ghost of Sparta comes in there. That would bind the Titans to the very walls of Tartarus. Thus was created the Gauntlet of Zeus. Hey you, get out of here. Yes. Yes! Counterclockwise again. Take that, old man. I love how the head was like looking at the screen. 
Okay, you're just gonna put that. This is just gonna flash it right onto your wrist there. You have acquired the gauntlet of Zeus. The power glove! <laughs> this does put a smile on my face. Press. Oh, so now we use the directional pad. Well, I guess I was wrong then. Friggin' PSP. Lightning attack? What the heck? Okay, I'm gonna have to have some fun with this. Ah, uh, it's about time I was given something that could just punch the shit out of people. Man, I thought I would have to wait until I got the Cestus in order to do this. Just gotta clear the room up a little, little, little bit. If this was the Infinity Gauntlet, I'd be snapping my fingers and making a whole lot of people disappear and the bridge is retracting. Alright, turn the camera around. I want to look out into the canyon. Well, good thing I left this here. <clears throat> ah! Of course. Fuck you, Zeus. Fuck you too, Hades. I think that's the path that I'm supposed to go, but let's try piss ant here.
Yeah, this thing definitely needs a buff. Olympic Strike. Hermes Cross, Hermes Revenge. I think that those are some of the names that Kratos was supposed to get for the blades, but... <laughs> Screw it. And suddenly the gauntlet is gone. satisfying sound of knowing your target's eternal skeletal structure is breaking under the force of your attack. <sighs> wow, you can charge up every single attack in the melee combo. Crank it up. Don't know what that did, but all right. God, you guys are annoying. Like that. You know, Kratos does a lot of walking across giant chains, doesn't he? Seriously, like, I thought it was a pretty unique thing back when he did it the first time, but now he basically like does it every single game, doesn't he? Well, anyways, this is a good place to finally stop off. 
Sorry that basically this one was kind of rough, but uh, I'm, having, I'm having a lot of fun. Regardless of how much I complain about the difficulty, it's a God of War game. It's going to be difficult, and it's still going to be fun. I mean, honestly, I don't think that there's anything in this game that's going to even remotely compare to the difficulty in God of War 2 before the loom on Titan mode, nor God of War Ascension on... Uh, <laughs> on just hard, or, yeah, God of War Ascension on Titan mode itself, but seriously, like, uh, I'm here playing the hard, playing hard, and I'm gonna unlock the hardest, but, uh, anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a comment down in the comment section below, and be sure to like and share with your friends. You want to keep up to date on more God of War Chains of Olympus coming your way in the future, then just smash that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later!